Hi, this is DarkFox127 and welcome to another Skyrim Creation Kit tutorial video. Today we're going to be working with idols. Now this won't be idols in the sense of getting the player to use idols, although I do plan on a tutorial on that when I do figure a lot more of it out. Uh, but today is going to be to do with NPCs using idols, as said in the title. So we're going to get our two NPCs here. We have Bill and Derek and those two are going to be doing different tasks so we're going to get Bill to go over and use an idol which will have him picking flowers over there and we're going to get Derek to go over there and start reading a book now idols are small markers which can be used to get NPCs to perform tasks uh, as sort of mentioned so if we go under miscellaneous here and idle markers and we'll just wipe out the filter we'll see them all now idols are animations animations which the NPC can do so it will be stuff like you can see here clean the weapon come this way where they usually wave their arm towards someone warming hands by the fire stuff like that so you can get NPCs to act a little more human now you might notice that the game doesn't have an awful lot of these around if you go in the kit and you look about the game doesn't utilize these very well uh, so you don't see many people really warming their hands they've got NPCs doing one specific task like standing and drinking they don't really use these as well as they really could so you could go ahead and do that but we're gonna we're gonna get our NPCs to do some of these so I'm gonna want book reading so if I wanted Derek over here to go over to this bookshelf and start reading it's probably going to involve an AI package now AI packages I'm gonna do a tutorial on but I'm just going to mention quickly they get NPCs to go about and do different tasks, do different things so it's sort of planning out their daily routine uh, go and check out my AI packages tutorials I will get a new one up soon after this video which will be in a lot more detail and a lot more easier to understand but we're just going to add a default one for this because I'm not actually going to use for the minute an AI package to guide him over there though you can do it that way and I will show you that shortly uh, we're just going to want a default sandbox now if you've got NPCs which you've got all this set up with then you're absolutely fine uh, they should have a sandbox package but this will just get him to wander around his location where he is so he'll just wander about and he'll, he'll do different tasks but what we're actually going to do for the minute just ignore that we're going to force Derek here to use an idle marker or what we're going to do is we're going to specify an idle marker that he can use so he's going to go about, he's going to do other tasks, he's going to maybe sit on that chair he's going to do other things to be honest he hasn't got a lot of options uh, so when he's got other things that he can't do and there's nothing more to do if he just randomly decides he'll go and use his idle marker now a lot of people place these idle markers down and they think that's it, they think people will just go over and use the idle markers which in some cases is true but uh, a lot of the cases unless you specify who owns the marker nobody will use it and you'll wonder what is going on and it's quite a simple thing uh, surprisingly it's actually setting ownership now there are other ways of sort of forcing them to use it without uh, AI packages which I'm going to show you now so let's find our book reading because I'm going on a bit here so we've got book reading idle marker we're just going to take a look at this, we're going to edit the base as you can see you list in here a number of idols which take place so the first idol there is just book reading so they'll just have the book in their hands and they'll be looking at it now the other thing is they'll also randomly turn a page which is in there so idle book turn page and if you alternate click and new you can see a whole list of available animations here now not all of these this isn't sort of a full list of what's in the game it, it gets quite confusing when it comes to animations they're sort of uh, scattered all over the place you can also find them in gameplay animations and you can see all of your idle animations here but don't get changing any of these and be, be very careful when messing with this menu I actually recommend that you don't go in there unless you know what you're doing but you can basically find and see all of the markers here is actors character you can see them sort of available in there and if you go under loose that's that's pretty much the markers that should be available to the player but we're not going to change any of those because we don't want to mess anything up because you can so easily mess up things in there so as you can see you could actually just go ahead and you could add additional things so you could create your own idle marker essentially and get the actor to do what you want if it's not in the list here but most general things are 
Now you've got idle timer settings. This is for how long they're going to perform the task unless you tell them to stop doing it by other means, maybe a script or something. Or if you set the patrol data to stop doing it a lot earlier, I'll come to that in a moment. You can tell them how specifically long to sort of do that before they move on if you don't specify it any other way. So yeah, you can see those idles there. There's a number of other options. I'm going to leave a link or a number of links in the description to different idle sort of uh, information points on the creation kit wiki but we are just going to leave that place down there for the moment I'm just going to click that off so we can move it and always make sure that it is sort of press the F key make sure it is floored to the ground I'm just going to take snap to grid off and I'm going to position it just in front of the bookshelf now like I said if I leave that there like that he's not going to go ahead and use it so the trick that I usually do not so sure if it is a trick uh, but I go under ownership and I have noticed that in the game they do this themselves they set an ownership so if you want one single person to use this idol which in our case is Derek I'm going to state it as Derek who is prisoner 2 at the moment so Derek is going to use this idol marker it is his idol marker also this stops any other character NPC whatever from using his idol which is great so I'm going to set that but if you wanted an entire group of people to use it so say if you wanted everyone within a certain faction so if you only wanted bandits to use it you could state bandit faction so they have to be in the faction or they have to be the NPC to be allowed to use this marker but I'm just going to set it to Derek because I don't want anyone else using it that means at the moment Derek will randomly use that uh, when he is idling around the place uh, doing sandboxing around the place I should have said when he's just sandboxing he will decide hmm I'll go and read a book now if you wanted to specify that he does that specifically you could take away his AI packages you wouldn't need an AI package and you could double click on link reference and you could select reference double click the marker OK and I don't think you'd even have to set the ownership and he'll just go up and he'll use that he will be sort of attached to that marker if you will so you can attach him to it I'm not going to do that I'm going to see if he does randomly go and use it so we can go ahead and we can do the same now for good old Bill here. So we're going to find the, I think it's flower, yeah, flower's idle marker. And I'm going to place this in my little garden I've got going here. I'm just going to shrink it into the, the dirt a little, see if that does it. And then we could do the same for him. We can go ownership and we can select prisoner 1. And now that means that he'll be able to sandbox and go over there. Obviously, if we do want him to be sandboxing, we we'll go ahead and add a package. But here's a good example, maybe, if we didn't want him sandboxing, if we wanted him always there picking flowers, we're going to do the link reference for Bill. So Bill's going to work off a link reference, so he's always going to be picking those flowers, hopefully. And then we've got Derek, who is going to randomly go and read a book and also maybe go and sit down and do whatever else. So... Uh, the one thing that I did mention and I haven't showed you is patrol data. If you go under patrol data on an idle marker, this is where you can overwrite the base items sort of idle settings, if you will, how long they stay there and use it. If you only want him picking flowers for so long, then you state how many minutes. Now, people think that this might be seconds, game seconds. It isn't. I think this is game minutes. So, if you put three in it's going to be three game minutes that's going to account to about six seven seconds maybe so three game minutes he will be there picking flowers now I'm not going to set it to him I'm going to click OK what I'm going to do I'm going to set it to this one because we're going to have Bill always picking flowers and then as for Derek here we're going to set this up and we're going to say we only want him reading a book for five minutes actually I think we better We'll, we'll set that a little less or we'll be standing there for most of the video waiting for him to finish but yeah we'll do two minutes and what I'm going to do I'm just going to do that to the chair over here as well so this can work on furniture as well so it means that he's not going to be staying sat on the chair all down we're never going to get him see reading the book so that is that now there are another there are other ways of doing this maybe two other ways and this does involve our packages so if I just go in here I'm not going to set these up but I'm just going to show you how you can do it you can go into a package and you can select one of the options in here which is it's here somewhere uh, probably be use idle it's here somewhere 
we'll find it there it is use idle amazing uh, right so use idle and then you can select the reference that's another way of doing it so you can say use this idle and the way you could do this is you could even schedule it if you know what you're doing with packages like I said I mentioned this in my package tutorials you could schedule it and have him there till 8 in the morning until 10 in the morning doing that specific idle so you won't want him reading well you might want him reading a book for two hours you could have him doing something uh, different another idle and you can do it that way another way say if you've got him doing anything else like a sandbox you can go ahead and select idles under here use specific idles and while he's sandboxing you can tell him to do certain idles and you can specify which idles you want him to do so if I wanted him laughing I'd select laugh if I want him to randomly play a drum or a flute do that and then if I wanted him sweeping I could do that and what I could do idle timer settings how long he's going to perform each of these actions for I could say five minutes and you can either get them to happen randomly, run in sequence, and you can also say do it only once. So only do this action once and then move on. So I'm not sure if you can do that for each singular action. No, it's sort of you can only do these select sets of actions once. So that's another way of doing it. Like I said, I'm not going to set that up that way, but that is another way of setting up your idols. And that is pretty much it. That is how you get NPCs to use idols. So the most important thing to remember is to set that ownership because if you don't, they're probably not going to know it's their idol and they're not going to use it. So I'm going to just go ahead. I'm just going to... No. I was going to play some more things for him to do but it probably narrowed down the chance of us seeing him read the book. So that should be more than enough. We're going to go in game now. Hopefully we've got Bill who is going to be flower picking and we should have Derek who's going to be reading a book and having a general sit down so let's pop in game okay so here we are in our test room and if you would like to go in there and download the resource then it is coc df127 idols if you want to go in the test room see how things work so the resource will be in the description as you can see we have Derek here reading the book and he should stop doing that soon and he'll go and carry on about his normal duties in fact if you just wait an hour it sometimes kicks NPCs into doing other actions so we've also got Bill over here yes. hello Bill uh, we've got Bill over here picking the plants which is good so he's still reading the book might be like two game minutes or give and ta give or take uh, the, the game's pretty buggy half the time but yeah you can pretty much get your NPCs to do whatever idols you want as you can see so that is it for this video I hope you found it helpful useful uh, please make sure you go and check out the resource uh, it is nice to go and see how things work and you can mess around with it there before putting it in your own mod so that's pretty much it uh, please check out my main website and my anti-social websites all the usual hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already thank you very much for watching and I'll speak to you next time